This video is designed to talk you through the methods of coastal transportation. Again, like rivers, transportation is the movement of eroded material, and we've got four types. The first type is traction. This occurs uh, when the heaviest material or the largest material is rolled along the seabed. The second method is called saltation. This occurs when slightly lighter material is bounced along the seabed. Third is called suspension. And suspension occurs when lighter material again is carried. The fourth and final method of coastal transportation is called solution. And this occurs when finest material or minerals dissolve in the seawater. All four of these processes occur in another process which is called long shore drift. Long shore drift is the movement of material along the coastline in a zigzag fashion. So the movement of material along the coastline in a zigzag fashion can happen in any of the four methods of transportation that we have just talked about. So the heaviest material will be moved by traction along the coastline in a zigzag fashion, etc, etc. If you come down and have a look at this diagram, it clearly shows the process of longshore drift. First of all, can I draw your attention to this particle that I have just circled? This is the particle that's going to move along the coast in a zigzag fashion. The wind direction, you can see, is here, and we must have the prevailing wind direction or the predominant wind direction coming to the coastline at an angle. This causes the waves to follow the same angle as the wind. So the waves will be approaching the coastline all the way along the coastline in the same angle as the wind direction. This causes the waves to break at an angle and the swash moves up the beach at an angle. This carries the particle to point one. Under the force of gravity, the backwash returns directly down the beach to point two. The process is repeated, swash up the beach at an angle to point three, back down the beach at, under the force of gravity straight to point four. This gets repeated and therefore the particles get moved along the beach or along the coastline in a zigzag fashion. The direction of longshore drift in this case is that direction. 